What's going on everybody? This is Cy from Forge Physio. Today we are going to go over a reverse hyper. So if you're at home and have minimal equipment, this is technically the best way to set it up. This is a treatment table. Uh, you don't have to have a treatment table. We can use your bed. We can use a kitchen island. We can use the edge of a couch. Pretty much uh, you're limited by your imagination in terms of setup position. Somewhere that your legs can hang, that's the goal, right? Now if you're at a gym, you want to use a commercial reverse hyper machine. So if you don't know what that is, we'll throw like an image overlay for, for a reverse hyper, but the technique is essentially the same regardless. We're using this drill to isolate our like mid, low back, glutes, hamstrings, a way to train what we call the posterior chain or the muscle groups in the back half of your body. Uh, really good drill for just athletic development, strength. It doesn't really matter what we're doing or your goal. It just is a really good way for us to bias that posterior chain. And I've seen a lot of um, back patients have pretty good success with this type of movement. So we're gonna just go through some simple progressions on where I like to start. So you want your hip bones to go right on the edge of the surface that you're on. And then we're gonna lay flat. Ideally, you have a surface that you can hold onto and be careful that if you do use a treatment table like this that you don't have it fold in half on you. But essentially, I like to start with my knees under my hips. And then from here, I like to go head down that way I'm not getting my upper back with my head on the ground. Preferably head down like so, so I'm not kinking my neck in any way. But essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with one leg and I'm gonna reach back behind me. And if getting my leg to this height bothers me, I can simply go here, right? The goal is to keep the leg locked out because the leg locked out is a longer lever. It's gonna be heavier in my back. So if that's too much, I can keep my knee bent and I can just simply start in this position, right? And whatever reps I do on the right, I'd come back and mimic that on the left. And then eventually you're able to get higher and higher and higher to where my foot is getting about as high as my hip, maybe slightly higher. Then from there, what I can do is as my leg goes up, I can add my head coming up and then it's gonna get the muscles pretty much from the back of my knee, hamstring, glute, hip, area, low back, all the way up, the muscles in the up into my neck, right? So we're getting our entire posterior chain. And then we come back to the beginning and we'd restart that from doing partial range of motion with two legs, right? And then full range of motion with both legs, with my head still, and then lifting my head. And then eventually what we have to do is we have to be able to progress that to have some sort of load. So if you're at the gym, you can just use the reverse hyper and stick, your, stick some weights on the pendulum and that'll be your overload. If you're at home, there's a lot of ways that you can go about it. The simplest way, in my opinion, is you take a backpack and you stick some books in the backpack. So the, when you get set up, you put your, your feet through the shoulder straps so the backpack is laying across your legs and then you pull the shoulder straps tight and then you push your feet out into those straps. Because if you just put it on your feet when you go to raise up, the bag's gonna go flying out. So you have to push out into the bag to, to tension it essentially. That's one way that you can do it. The second way, it's way harder, is you can rig some bands up. So if you're using like a couch, you can put the band around the bottom of the couch and then wrap it around your ankles. But as you move, the band will roll around your ankles so it's not as comfortable. So easiest way in my opinion, obviously is gonna be using the machine at the gym. If you don't have access to the gym-based machine, then using a backpack on a bed or table or uh, kitchen island or whatever it is that you're on. Again, cinching those straps down tight, pushing your feet out so that way it doesn't slide around.